If I were to describe my ideal time in God's Word, I would say that I try to study God's Word the same way that God asks us to love Him, and that's with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And so I approach God's Word ideally with all of my heart and all of my mind and all of my strength. Or, in other words, I approach his word devotionally, and I try to approach it intelligently, and I approach it obediently. And so by devotionally, what I mean is when I open God's word, I, I am expecting to meet with the living God. I'm expecting him to change me, and, and I want him to stir my affections. I want to love him more. And that's different than coming to God's word looking for just that daily pick-me-up or a warm fuzzy or some kind of spiritual high because sometimes the affections that God stirs are, are deep sorrow or deep repentance. And so sometimes the tears that I shed are, are not happy tears, but, but I'm asking God to stir my affections because ultimately as I study his word, I want to love him more. So I study his word devotionally. But I also want to approach his word intelligently. I want to study his word with my mind, which means that I ask certain questions of the text. I, I ask, what do I learn about God in this text? What do I learn about his ways or his salvation? And what do I learn about myself, either in particular or, or mankind in general? And I think one of the, the hardest questions to ask, but one of the most important questions is, is to say, what did this text mean? What did this passage mean to the original audience? Because every word, every paragraph, every book in the Bible was written by a specific person to a specific person, addressing a specific situation. And if I want to understand what God has for me in his word, then I have to understand first what he had for them because the meaning for them is the meaning for me. And so I, I want to approach God's word with all of my mind. And lastly, I want to approach God's word obediently or with all of my strength, which might not sound super spiritual and it might not sound very relational, but it, it actually is very relational. And the reason it is, is because I trust God. I trust that God is at work because there are, there are seasons, there are times when I show up to study his word and I don't really feel his presence. I don't, I don't see what he's doing in my life. I'm sure that you have had some of those seasons too, but, but if I'm going to love him with all of my strength, I want to study his word obediently because I trust he's at work in the times that I feel it and in the times that I don't. And one of my favorite, one of my favorite verses in all of scripture is Isaiah chapter 50 verses four and five. And Isaiah said this, he said, the Lord God has given me the tongue of those who are instructed to know how to sustain the weary with a word. He awakens me each morning. He awakens my ear to listen like those being instructed. The Lord God has opened my ear and I was not rebellious and I did not turn back. And so I want what Isaiah had. I want an instructed tongue. I want to know the word that can sustain my weary soul and also the weary souls of those around me. And so morning by morning, when my alarm clock goes off, I remind myself that he is awakening me and that if I will get up and show up, that he will meet with me in his living word because that is what our living God does. And so I would encourage you that as you study the word of God, to study it devotionally and intelligently and obediently, or in other words, study it with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength.